Hello there students and welcome. This is another English lesson for the 7th grade of primary school. Our topic today is invention and creativity. My name is Eva and I'm your English teacher today. In today's lesson, you will listen to a text about young inventors and their inventions and you will present your invention according to given guidelines. For today's lesson, you need a notebook and a pencil, a tablet or a smartphone, internet connection, and a QR code scanner. And keep in mind that you can pause this video whenever you need and do the tasks. Let's start the lesson with a question. What is creativity? How would you describe it? Take a moment, pause the video, open your notebooks and write your definition of this word. Now let's take a look at some quotes. The first quote, creativity is intelligence having fun. And another one, creativity is not the finding of a thing, but the making something out of it after it is found. What do these quotes mean? Think about them for a minute. Do you agree with them? Are you a creative person? Let's see how creative you are. Keep your notebook open. I will show you a picture of an item you use daily. We all know what this item is normally used for, but try to think of some other uses. Write the uses in your notebook. The item is a paperclip. So what can a paperclip be used for? Pause the video and write some ideas in your notebook. So a paper clip can be used as a hair clip. It can also be used as a mini screwdriver or as a keyring. Maybe you can use it as a nail cleaner, a worm hook, a zip holder, or you can use it as jewelry. Do you have some other ideas? Share the ideas with your teacher. Did you know that kids and teenagers invented some devices and items we use nowadays? Let's take a look at some examples. Do you recognize this item? This is a popsicle and Frank Epperson invented it when he was only 11 years old. Next inventor is Benjamin Franklin, who invented flippers when he was also 11 years old. Louis Braille invented the Braille alphabet at age 12, and the inventor of Christmas lights was only 15 years old when he invented them. His name was Albert Sadaka. What is this item called? It's a snowmobile, and its inventor was Joseph Armand Bombardier, at age 15. And the last item is a trampoline. The inventor of trampoline, George Neeson, was only 16 years old when he invented this popular item. In today's lesson, you will watch a video about two young inventors and their inventions. While watching the video, answer these questions in your notebooks. What are Bridget and Kern's inventions? How did Bridget come up with her idea? What motivated Kern to invent the sprinkler? What did he want to achieve with his invention? And why is Kern excited to visit NASA? Now copy this link into your browser, bit.ly, Young Inventors 7, or scan this QR code and start watching. I hope you're finished. Let's check the answers. So the first question was, what are Bridget and Kern's inventions? Bridget's invention is a band-aid dispenser and Kern's is a smart water sprinkler. How did Bridget come up with her idea? She wanted to make things easier for her mother, who has struggled with opening band-aids for a year. Next question was, what motivated Kern to invent the sprinkler? He was driving his bike along the footpath and was wet from their water sprinkler. 
What did he want to achieve with his invention? He wanted to make a more water-wise way of watering the garden, and he wanted to stop water wastage. And why is he excited to visit NASA? He is excited to see how astronomers research space and the solar system. Let's take a look at another quote by a famous philosopher Plato, who said that necessity is the mother of invention. What does this quote mean? Where do the ideas for inventions come from? The ideas come from necessity, and necessity is the need for something. For example, Bridget needed something to help her mother open band-aids. And that's how she came up with the idea for a band-aid dispenser. Can you give me some other examples? The second part of our lesson is a creative one. You will create your own device, and I will help you do it by giving you some guidelines. Let's take a look at the questions. What is the device for, and who is it for? What does it do? What does it look like? How much does it cost? Where can people buy it? And finally, you will write an advertising slogan. Now let's do this step by step. Keep in mind that you can pause the video whenever you need. We have just said that invention starts with people's need for something. Answer this question for me. What do you, your friends, or your family need help with. You can pause the video and write some ideas in your notebooks. Maybe you and your family need help with tidying, dusting, ironing, cooking, hoovering, taking care of pets, or maybe washing, or maybe you need help with something you have to do for school, like doing homework or studying. Now take a moment and choose one activity you think you need help with the most. Can you think of a device that can help you with this activity? How can this device help you? What can the device do? And what does it look like? Again, you can pause the video and answer these questions in your notebooks. Who else will use this device other than you, your friends or your family? Which age group will use it the most? Children? Teenagers? or maybe adults. Do these people have some common interest? For example, are they interested in sports, arts, or maybe DIY? Is there a device that has already been invented that is similar to your device? Think about this existing device. Why does it sell well? Or why doesn't it sell well? What are its characteristics? Are there some problems with the device? For example, does it cost too much? Does it have some technical issues like battery life? Is it easy to use? And is it available in stores or do you have to order it online? Once your device is finished, think about the place where you will sell it. Will it be available in supermarkets? or only in specialized shops, or really sell the item online in a web shop. And finally, how much will it cost? Now that we have everything necessary for a device to be put on the market, we need an advertising slogan. What is an advertising slogan? It's a short, memorable phrase that draws attention to the product advertised. How familiar are you with some famous advertising slogans? Let's play a game to find out. 
copy this link bit.ly slogan for seven into your browser or scan this QR code to open the game. When you're finished, get back to the video. And now it's time to put it all together for your final task. I hope that you have come up with an idea for a device that can help you with some everyday activities. Use your creativity to make a poster or a flyer in which you will present this device and while doing it, answer these questions. What is the device for and who is it for? What does it do? What does it look like? How much does it cost? Where can people buy it? And finally, think about an advertising slogan. When you're finished creating a poster or a flyer, you will make a video of you presenting it and send the video to your teacher. And here are some digital uh, online tools you can use to help you with the task. To make sure you have covered everything necessary, use this checklist to evaluate your work and put a tick next to the steps you have completed. I have answered the questions. I have written an advertising slogan. I have drawn the device and my poster or flyer has a clear outline. Your teacher will assess your work using this speaking rubric. And as you can see, there are five criteria to be assessed. Content, vocabulary and spelling, message of the poster and creativity, effort and pronunciation. And this is it for today's lesson. I hope the lesson inspired you to be creative, and who knows, maybe someday you win the prize with your invention. Goodbye until our next English lesson.